Hi, I'm Chris, and this is a 3D printer. Let's see how it works. So what this 3D printer is doing right now is it's taken a CAD model and it's turned that CAD model into a bunch of 2D layers and it's printing one layer on top of the other. So when you finally get to the end of the print, you have a 3D structure. Let's talk about the key components of this 3D printer machine made by MakerBot. So there are three main components of a 3D printer. The hot extruder nozzle, which is like a glorified hot glue gun. The heated build platform, which is critical for ABS plastic type 3D printers. And the, the plastic filament itself, which you can see rolls up back here. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover a couple of key things. First, the safety of the machine and the safety of us. Second, how to change the filament, how to load and unload the filament. And lastly, we're going to learn how to level the build platform. So let's get started. So when we're thinking about the safety of this machine, there's a couple things we want to think about. This machine A gets really hot, B has moving parts, which is not letting me move very fast, right? And also has a lot of high current and electronic potential for electronic shock. So if you ever forget, you can see right here, it's a burn hazard. You can put your hands in gears and get hurt. And there's probably a shock warning somewhere on the back. Ah, here we go. Shock. To change the filament is easy. You simply go to these menus. Okay, so the first one we have is build from SD card. We're not ready to build anything. Preheat is to get everything warmed up. We're not there either. So utilities are where we want to go. In order to change the filament, it's pretty obvious. We select change filament. Hit the M. What's really nice about the MakerBot is it tells you exactly what you're trying to do and what you want to do and it will give you on-screen instructions in order to help you get there. So now what we want to do is we want to unload, in this case, the right step extruder. So there we go. Unload. So now what we do is we wait for the machine to heat up because we can't really take out plastic that's solidified inside the heat, uh, what they call the step extruder or your extruder nozzle. So now we play the waiting game. Okay, so the, the printer is now hot enough and I've pulled out this plastic tube. What you have to do is you have to push down on this ring here first in order to get this black sort of guide tube to pop out. Now we can also hear that the motor inside was pushing backwards on our filament and there it goes, she removes right away. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pause it and we're going to start to load filament. We're going to load the green filament in the back. Okay, so now the machine is ready to put the filament in it. And again, what we did is we had to go to the onboard menu, we had to select load filament, let the extruder nozzle heat up, and now it's ready to put in, put in the, uh, into the extruder. So we can kind of hear that the motors inside are trying to drive and pull this filament in. So you want to just lightly, lightly push in until you feel it grab. And I can feel it grab. You can lightly kind of pinch here to feel that it's pulling through. And then you want to come back down for a visual confirmation that it's actually extruding out. There we go. So it's going to be red at first. But then it will come out to be green. Just give it some time. Oh, there it goes. Like a spider spinning its web. Come on, green. So now that we've loaded the filament, now it's time to level the build platform. So let's get started. Okay, so in order to get started with the level the build platform, first thing we want to do is make sure there's no plastic on the tip of our extruder nozzle. So we'll clean it off with some tweezers. Without tugging on the nozzle too hard, okay? Then what we do is we activate the on-screen menu and we say level build plate. What's nice is all the directions are on the small menu down here. So now the bed platform is going to move up and we are going to level the build platform. What you want to do before all this really takes place is you want to make sure that these screws are fully compressed so that way you don't get any issues in, with colliding with the nozzle tip. So I've tightened my screws and now I'm going to sn sneak this piece of paper in beneath the nozzle tips to make sure that the paper is just tight enough. It's pretty tight. Hard to tell attention on a, on a video but it's about at the point where it rips and we're on the right step shooter. Now it's going to move to the back, and I can feel it here, about the same, which is good. Moving it over. This one I need to adjust, so what I'm going to adjust 
I'm going to tighten or loosen the screws on the bottom here at the same time. There's four screws on the bottom. Okay, so I just tightened it up a bit. And that's better, right? In order to calibrate, I'm using a trusty piece of paper here. That feels about right. Now it's going to go to the center. And the center, again, is very snug, very snug, about the point of tearing. All right, and we're done. In order to start a print, we just have to use the on-screen menu here. Hit the left button, the left side of the square button pad to get back to the main menu and go up to build from SD card. We'll explain how to get your files on an SD card later. Uh, but then I'm going to select my wedge integrated ring uh, uh, file. I'll hit select and then the machine will move all around. It'll home the build platform. I'm fixing some Kapton tape here. And then everything will warm up and it will start to print. So now we wait again. So we've been waiting about six minutes to let the machine warm up. Again, the heated build platform warms up to about 110 degrees Celsius, and this is going to heat up to about 235 degrees Celsius. Um, what we want to be careful is that this bed platform doesn't come crashing into our extruder nozzle, and if we've leveled our build platform correctly, that shouldn't happen. The other thing we want to look out for is drool. That's when plastic is coming to ooze out of the, the nozzle tip here. We want to use these tweezers to clean that out of the way. And when the, the machine's finally ready, the build platform will raise up, uh, the machine will set an anchor, which is extrude out a bunch of plastic into this corner, as you'll see here in a minute. So now it's going to extrude the anchor. Here it comes, which is good. The anchor stayed where it was, and now it's printing our part. Simple as that. That's how you print on a MakerBot Replicator 1. Again, we're only printing with ABS plastic, and uh, may you print the coolest next new widget ever. Cheers for hands-on rapid innovation.